Welcome in everyone to this evening's edition of WABI News. I'm Ed Avery, as always joined by Kevin Beck. In U.S. news, President Obama spoke out against the recent budget prepared by House Budget Committee Chairman Republican Paul Ryan. Obama severely criticized the $3.5 trillion budget that narrowly passed along party lines last week. The president called it a Trojan horse, claiming it would hurt working families. He and many Democrats claim the budget offers tax cuts for the wealthy, reduction in Medicare funding, federal college aid, and national infrastructure projects. The president also took this opportunity to mention Mitt Romney's approval of the plan, marking the first time that President Obama has acknowledged his likely opponent in this upcoming presidential election. Ryan and other Republican leaders immediately criticized the Obama speech as politically motivated rather than a serious approach to budget deficit reduction. Kevin, I think this is going to be a, a major ongoing dialogue for the rest of the election cycle. November's going to be upon us before you know it, but it's going to be nip and tuck. In entertainment news, not so royal couple recently in the limelight is calling it quits, or at least that's one side of the story. Here's WABI's entertainment reporter Shannon Alexander with an update on exactly whose relationship is on the rocks. Kim Kardashian's $10 million fairy tale wedding, viewed by millions on the E! Channel, was so extravagant it has been compared to the royal wedding. After only 72 days, could this Cinderella story have a not-so-happy ending? Reports state that Kim K filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. TMZ spotted the couple in public disagreement just this weekend and recently have been seen partying separately. Chris has released a statement expressing his shock and sadness. Hopefully the couple will come to a resolution that's best for the both of them. Entertainment reporter Shannon Alexander. Thank you, Shannon. Ed, thoughts on all this? Well, I, the Kardashians, they've, uh, they've got it all handled, don't they? In Atlanta sports, Chipper Jones has stirred a drastic change of momentum with the Braves after a rocky start to the season. WABI sports reporter David Lehman has an update on the Braves and veteran Chipper Jones. After an 0-4 start, the Braves veteran third baseman Chipper Jones came off the disabled list last Tuesday, and you might be asking yourself, why was he ever there? He's swinging the bat and snagging balls at third base with the zeal of a rookie, but the results are definitely that of a seasoned professional. In Tuesday's start against Houston, Chipper had two hits, including a home run, launching the Braves into a five-game winning streak. Jones is hitting 5 for 12 with two home runs in three games since his return from knee surgery. Jones has not done this alone. His return has ignited the entire Braves team. Jason Hayward's bat has been hot, and the Braves' starters Brandon Beachy and Mike Miner have been dominating the last few outings. The Braves are now 5-4, and four, going into another three-game series against the Mets. The Mets swept the Braves at the start of the season. Thank you, David, for that report. And the Braves sure are rolling. Hopefully Chipper can go out with a bang here in 2012 and some nice early signs from Jason Hayward that he might have that sophomore slump corrected. For Kevin Beck, I'm Ed Avery. Thanks for watching WABI News.